New York earthquakes today. New York, New Jersey earthquake, 1.4 magnitude. This was uh, hours before the magnitude four, uh, basically at the border of Canada, United States, upstate New York, the Adirondacks felt the shaking. Four magnitude is not at all small. Now, this is uh, a historic earthquake map of that area. And this is the area of mantle breaking on the East Coast. Basically, we know from uh, Geology 101, every river is a fault line. The uh, four magnitude took place around the St. Lawrence River. And uh, it shook, of course, in upstate New York and uh, Montreal area. And uh, a little lower than that, you have, of course, the Great Lakes, Lake Erie, Lake uh, Ontario, and uh, a little further down, the Mississippi River, which empties into the Gulf of Mexico. This is the mantle breaking, uh, basically the New Madrid seismic zone, it should be called the New Madrid Rift Zone. And this part will eventually, for, of course, become parted from continental United States. And the mantle plume under the Great Lakes, we have magma there. Let's take a look at the maps. So here we are, today's earthquakes. Uh, this one was, uh, they downgraded to 3.8, and it was a 4 magnitude when I made that video. It, uh, it's very um, close to the surface, 1.1 kilometers depth. And it's on the border between U.S. and Canada, and we saw that it shook the uh, Adirondacks as well. How many people reported that? They've been reported all day. Okay, 777 so far. And this is the map of it. Okay, these are the Adirondacks right there. Okay, where are we? Here we are. Okay, right there. Um, and if we go to the shake maps, unfortunately, the USGS stops it at that point. And uh, let's pull out so you can see a little bit better. Okay, that's it right there. And the aerial. Okay. The USGS stops it right there, but you can see a lot of uh, shaking going on. Okay. The St. Lawrence River right there, that's where it took place. Lake Ontario, Lake Erie. And of course, uh, you have this river system here, the Mississippi River. So this is a mantle breaking off towards the east. And this is the mantle plume, magma under there, that's been there for the, uh, since a billion years ago. Let's go back to topographic, okay. That's, okay, pulling in, that's where it is, that one. Then we had the, this was at uh, local time today, 12.43 p.m. And this one was um, about six hours before that, okay? This is a depth of 7.4 kilometers, about uh, four miles down. And this one is at Bedminster, New York, right there. Aerial, okay, topographic, and we have had uh, earthquakes there a month ago as well, so they're still going on, something very strange going on, and uh, I'll remind you that we do have, where are we, Maine, okay, Maine has five volcanoes, four of them are in a 100 mile distance. Maine. We should not be surprised. We have a mantle plume there. And let's also remember that we have underwater volcanoes right there. Over 30 underwater volcanoes right there. Okay. And of course, magma right there, the uh, Mid Atlantic uh, Trench. And we have had earthquakes. Uh, here, when was that? Okay, two days ago, and here today, 4.8 Mid-Atlantic Ridge, okay? 
and these things have been going on um, a few days ago. So, I don't know if this pressure also has to do with the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and also what has taken place here, across the pond of the Atlantic. So all of you there, please be very careful and alert because we do have earthquakes in the New York, New Jersey area as well. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.